Leadership is the capacity that can translate a vision into reality. You might have many goals in mind. You might want to fulfill various objectives. A leader is one who will be helping you out to achieve them. He will be guiding you, directing you, showing you the right path to walk in to ultimately achieve what you strive to achieve. A good leader knows the correct way. He himself goes that way and he shows you that correct way. He is the one who will be bringing you back on track whenever you drift out of your track. He will show you the right direction that can ultimately help you to achieve what you ultimately strive to achieve. In today's video, we will be discussing about three major leadership styles. So let's take a very basic example and try and understand each of these three styles. So just think that I like to start up my own business. Suppose I want to start my own institute. Now, in order to uh, run that institute, I might need various content creators. I might need various teachers who will be teaching the students. Then I might need various people for marketing, sales and all such purposes. I can't do everything myself. I need to hire more people. Suppose I hire some fresh graduates, I hire people to teach, to prepare the content and all of them are fresh graduates. There can be different ways in which I as a leader can lead them. One of them is that thinking that they are fresh graduates, they are not that very experienced, I might give them the orders, I might instruct them to do what is needed and they will follow my orders. Whatever I command, they are going to follow it. I am not making them participate in the decision making. I am not taking their suggestions, thinking that they might not come up with various innovative ways. So I just take all the decisions and command them to follow those instructions of mine. They will be answerable to me, responsible to me, and I will be the one who has complete authority to take all the decisions. So centralized decision making is there where I as a leader am taking all the decisions. This was one leadership style. Now it might happen that I as a leader believes that these fresh graduates are young people who are creative minds who can come up with various great innovative solutions. So I might involve them in decision making. We together sit, discuss the issues, discuss different ways of doing the things and then I finally take up a collective decision and then implement that. So through uh, discussions, deliberations, brainstorming, we are together communicating with ourselves and taking the decision. So everyone is participating in the decision making. This is another leadership style which I can opt for taking the decisions together and them and then implementing them. Then I can follow another kind of a leadership style where I might hire some experts. I might hire expert teachers, expert content creators. Now I believe that all of them have the thorough knowledge on how to uh, do the things, what is to be done, how is it to be done, when is it to be done. So I completely decentralize the authority. I give them the entire power to take all the decisions. They have complete authority. I am decentralizing the decision making. They can take up their own decisions and execute them. Whenever the need arises, I am there to support them. I will be providing them the resources. I will be providing them the support, the guidance when needed. Otherwise, I am not going to interfere in decision making. So this could be a third leadership style. Now, telling the formal names of each of these three styles. The first one, where I as a leader am taking all the decisions and communicating them to the subordinates. They have to follow all my instructions. This is the first style which we call the autocratic or the authoritarian leadership style. So when I believe that they don't have the ability to take the decisions, I might take all the decisions myself and make sure that those people implement that, those decisions. The second leadership style where we are sitting together, communicating with each other, discussing the things and then taking the decisions. So the participation of each and every person is involved over here. This A is the leader. Like in my case, I was the leader. But involving others in decision making, this leadership style is a participative or democratic leadership style. So here B, C, D, E are all my subordinates. But I am sitting with them, discussing the things and then taking the decision. So participation is involved. Everyone is given a chance to speak up, to take 
a decision for themselves. So this, this is a participative or a democratic leadership style. The last one where I told you that I will completely decentralize the authority to take all the decisions. These subordinates, B, C, D, E, they can together take all the decisions. I, as a leader, I'm just there to support them, to guide them whenever the need arises. This kind of a leadership style is called the laissez-faire or the free reign leadership style. I hope through this very basic example, the concept of leadership and the three different leadership styles is now uh, easily understandable for you all. Different theorists have been there who have modified their versions of leadership styles and have uh, come up with their own leadership styles. So somehow in the uh, somewhat in the later sessions, I'll pick up each of the leadership theory and discuss it with you all. Thank you.